Hi guys, this is Orchid. Today I decided to do a vlog. I don't do these very often. This is probably my second one ever. And I'm taking you guys to Macy's Clearance Center in Carl Place, Long Island. Um, as you walk in through the door, they are advertising the deals of the day. And that is wood headboards for $29 and dining tables. Just to show you the size of the store. And right next to this is in the same building is the regular Macy's Furniture Store. And um, as many of you will probably know, they tend to send a higher quality of furniture. So going to this clearance center, you're really looking at getting good furniture at great prices. And they do have a pricing policy. The prices you see on the um, items are dis further discounted depending on what color it is. I made a beeline straight for the wood headboards. I got the feeling that I got there after everyone else, you know, got the best of what they had. But they truly had headboards for $29, and many of them didn't look bad at all. I mean, if you are just getting your first apartment and you're on a very small budget, or you are fixing up a guest bedroom, you know, or a child's room, a teenager's room, this is a viable option, you know. They do have fabric headboards, and like I said, some of these prices you are probably thinking, well, poor idiot and clearance, remember, this is, you know, really good quality furniture um, we're talking about here. And um, I think with the green, you get a further 10% off that price. And I think with the blue, another 20%. Then the neon greens are what they have on clearance. That's just the take it or leave it price, the final pricing. They had full beds for sale also. Love this one. It's a type of textured um, fabric, but I wouldn't be buying this for $600. I would wait that out until it gets down to a final clearance price. After that, I went straight over to where they had the dining tables. Now, these were already in the boxes, so what you had to do is to take make a note of the SKU, jump online, and look at what the table actually looks like, and then it's yours for only $29. Um, a few weeks ago, they were $49 now they're and they were begging people everyone who came in the store They were asking you we have you know, do you want a dining table? We have dining tables for $49. They are brand new items over stock and here are some examples of what is in the boxes I was told so not bad at all for $29 and they are brand new items One of the issues here is that the stuff, they're packed tightly together, so you have to be weaving in and out of the um, items. I thought this was so funny here. You are going to buy a dining table for $29, but it has a matching bench that's now at $128. With a further 10% off, you know, it's cost, it's going to cost you more to get this out of the um, the store. Um, they do have a bunch of seating items, chaise lounges, um, recliners, of course, sofa, both fabric and leather sofas. And, and these are truly genuine leather sofas um, in excellent quality. Some you can see were returned by customers, um, but you had some that looked absolutely brand new. Over here, I just stopped to look at this um, end table, and this was actual marble top, real marble, with the brass um, legs, brass base, and the coffee table was to die for. And I think, I personally think at this price, a solid marble top coffee table that I could not even budge, so I knew for sure it was real marble and not the really thin slab of marble not bad for this price and i think the side table retails for 7.99 in the regular store so and this looked brand new brand new 
they also have desks but i just can't see these desks in my home these were huge desks very masculine looking too so just taking a walk to just show you it's huge this place is huge guys and it would take all day for me just to walk through and show you the prices but you would surely find something um, that you like here for sure if you're in the market for sofas um, dining chairs dining tables some accessories you certainly would now look at this guys this looked brand new also and this was 390 something dollars with an, an additional 20 percent off so you could actually furnish a one bedroom apartment with probably two thousand dollars if you were to shop at some place like this I think shopping at a clearance center is a very smart um, option because it's highly likely you're going to get a brand new item deeply discounted you can't go wrong there and if it's used it's usually somewhat gently used you know a lot of times you may get something home and you're like what the heck was I thinking I think most of these furniture are like that what the heck was I thinking when I bought this just showing you these bar stools and these are sold in pairs and um, I like this one because only the seat rotated swiveled and you know it's a higher quality furniture a lot of times you you know you'll get these nail head trim furniture but when you look at the application of the nail head trim mm, very lacking I have to say those are the little tells for me. Now this, I love this um, set of chairs. This was real leather, very soft, supple leather. I can see this in a bachelor pad. You know, a young man just getting his first bachelor pad. And these are a little pricey to me, $112 per chair. But you got to remember that this is real leather. coffee tables were at really good prices here are some more chairs now this um this pair of chairs normally sell for over a thousand dollars and they have them for 259 dollars and these were these looked brand new you can see the plastic is still on the seat now they have a huge inventory of um mattresses i have to say for me personally i mattresses are something i prefer to buy brand new even if they're going to tell me this was a floor model, my peace of mind. For my peace of mind, I would have to buy my mattress brand new. But they had um, some really good quality mattresses there. A few more coffee tables. And just to show you the prices on these, when I say you can furnish a an apartment with $2,000 if you shop at some place like this, this is no joke. That's a coffee table for $90. Of course, that is not real marble top, but... The look is great. I love going to places like these because, you know, there you see something here and you're like, oh my gosh, and you turn around and there is something. And, oh, wow. you you It's like a kid in a candy store for me. I hate shopping for clothing, so I generally shop online, but for about um, with furniture and the core items are concerned I can shop all day as um, with clearance centers you you it, it's basically the luck of the draw so you can go on a day oh let me just stop here look at this piece guys look at the price for this $36 isn't that something it's a small piece more you know appropriate for a small apartment or a child's room I would think think had a little damage on top which is why I think it was so cheap but me I would either paint that top or just place a decor item strategically on that spot a few more you know end tables all under $100 good quality pieces I thought this piece was cute and look at the price for storage 
60 bucks. Now this is final clearance, so that price would not be falling further. I love this lamp. But what I would do, I would take that top off and turn it into a regular lamp with a lamp shade. Not that, you know, bucket or basin, basin thing. I just think of those sink. Yeah, when I see um, um, lamps like that. Now this area was just con con confusion. A lot of the items did not have the price tags on them. Um, this one didn't. This is beautiful. I'm here thinking, do I know someone who needs something like this? This was a six light chrome chandelier with the acrylic um, parts on it. And when I finally got the price, it was $60. It's just amazing the quality of the pieces that they have there. But you just have need to have some patience. Um, the stock is coming in and out constantly. So oftentimes there is no price on the item. But the staff at this store, they are just great. I got to give kudos to them. Very friendly, very helpful, you know, patient. They don't bother you. They're, you know, it, they, I, I got to give them kudos, Macy's. You have great staff at your clearance center. Um, this piece I love. This was huge. I think the diameter on this was would probably be in the 30s, like 30 inches. And this was the capiz, I think, shells. I had to dig through to get the price for this one. $72, I think it says there. Beautiful. So you see what I'm saying, guys. You have to literally rummage through this area. But... On a closer look, the first couple of times I went, I didn't really pay attention to this area. But on closer look this time, I saw some really great pieces at really great price. I almost bought that black dome light. Um, I didn't even bother to ask the price because I know if I found out what it was, I'll probably buy it. And I have nowhere to put it, so I just left it. But yeah, if I were in the business of decorating, I would definitely buy that and put it in my stock. Now, their lamps tend to be a little more on the traditional side and to be a little pricey, I noticed. But these are high quality stuff made out of real quality materials. And remember also those prices that you see are further discounted depending on the color of the tags um, like I showed you in the beginning. I know. I'm just going back and forth. I hope I don't make you guys dizzy. I'm not used to <laughs> vlogging, as they say. But um, I'm trying. I am. I love that lamp with the bamboo-looking um, hair. Bamboo look. So you see those purple? I think the purple ones are a further 30% off, or I think. They do have area rugs also. Not another thing that I would buy at a clearance center. Um, that's just me. I like there are certain things I like to have brand new. I want to be the first to walk on a an area rug, the first to lie in a mattress. Um, that's just me. Now, if you were in the market for dining chairs and more along the traditional lines, you would do well here. They had a ton of chairs, and they were deep, deep, deeply discounted. Um, me also, if I were going to buy these, I probably would, if, um, if they're gently used, as I would say, or, you know, maybe they're, um, a floor sample that will get a little salt from people, you know, sitting and testing. I would personally change the fabric, if the upholstery, and that's not difficult at all, changing the upholstery. I, I, I didn't expect that I would, but I actually like those um, chairs right there. And the orange, I think. Orange, it's a further 30 or 40% off, I think. The items that have the um, orange, um, uh, the items that have a orange tag. These lamps were very unusual, ran over to take a look, but then when I saw the price, like, nope. Now, this is where I got a little carried away, and this place is chock full of furniture, so if you notice my angles are a little tight in terms of filming, 
But these are marble top solid wood sideboards or credenzas or whatever buffets, whatever you guys want to call it. But these were brand new. And as you see, I'm opening the drawers and you are seeing, you know, parts of the, the, um, the packaging um, that's still inside and on the pieces. And the prices were just amazing. And remember, blue tax is another 20% off. And it's not yet at the final price. This is orange is I think 30 or another 30 or 40 percent off of what the listed price is. So I mean, if you are in the market for higher end furniture, solid wood or furniture of a higher quality, my advice to you is to take a look at these outlets or clearance stores first because you probably will find. A brand new piece in the store for as much as 50 to 75 percent off I was amazed by a lot of the prices that I saw this piece beautiful missing a number of pulls can't figure out how a piece of furniture can be missing pulls but I mean you're talking about $8.99 as opposed to what it was for originally and then you get another 20 percent off of that I love a dresser or credenza or buffet that has a lined drawer. Just love that. If you are into more traditional um, style furniture, you would be very happy in the store, I have to say. Interesting. Hmm. One of the things you have to remember is that you may have to make more than one visit to finally, you know, identify a piece that you like or, you know, that you are willing to spend, invest in. Um, they have deliveries on certain days, so I never ask which days they generally get new stock in, but I know on average they have their delivery day. So I could hear, you know, people coming in and speaking to the staff and asking them, you know, if any of what they're interested in came in. There is a huge area that is um, only for staff where they have a ton of more furniture sitting that are still to come on the floor but there is basically no space so they're actually like begging you to take the stuff to buy the stuff get rid of it because they just want to get rid of them they have so many um, items coming in these are nightstands at an additional with an additional 10 or so percent off um, fairly great looking stuff there were a few pieces that looked a little worse for the wear, but um, yeah. Over here, they have the outdoor furniture. I'm in the market for outdoor furniture, but what I notice here is that I never really see matching items that much. Um, but um, the prices were fairly decent. I, I don't know. Someone needs to explain to me why outdoor furniture can be so costly. I would rather buy a quality piece than something that's very uh, cheap and I have to replace it in a couple of years. Um, but I still don't understand why outdoor furniture can be so expensive. I understand where teak is concerned, but otherwise, I'm just blown away sometimes when I see the prices. Coffee tables, guys. Look at the prices on these. Where were these th places when I was a, a, a young, you know, woman going out on my own in my first apartment? I wish I had access to places like this. All we probably had was Ikea. Now you can furnish your place um, like a, you know, a woman of substance in your 20s. Love, love this chair. Considered buying it, but I'm like, I'm not going to be an impulse buyer today. And this was leather. 
this was also great if these were higher I definitely would have purchased um, a couple of these to use as desks and the price was perfect for me would look great in a teenager's room teenage girl now this piece I fell in love with I took the measurements and I'm hoping that if and when I go back it's still there I would be surprised if it's still there originally seven hundred dollars now 175 not bad at all I like this piece also could use as a credenza but then I look across from it and they have the matching chest of drawers right there so this was just an exercise to kind of give you guys an idea of what kind of options you have if you shop at a clearance center um, I think I might be going to another clearance center to let you guys see what they have there too but um, it really is a great option um, you your budget can go a very long way at these um, locations only remember that the sales are all final you anything you purchase you don't have the option to return it so you know inspect the furniture um, thoroughly before you make the purchase you know so if you're buying it you sit on it jump on it <laughs> rock in it you know check the drawers everything um, before you purchase I have never seen cribs at a clearance center so I was a bit surprised to see these and they were pretty expensive I didn't know that cribs are that expensive fell in love with this piece I mean it's not really my style but I thought it just looked it was really a great piece and for the price hmm love that thank you so much for watching guys bye now